Hello guys, welcome to the channel and hope you all had a great day today. In this video, we're going to review the Fireball 25 amp head from England Amplifier. So let's listen first to the tones. It will be in a full mix with bass and drums, and then we'll have some tech talks. And then at the end of the video, I'll play the same record again, but just a raw track. So let's hear the tones. it's also foot switchable and then you have the channel selection also foot switchable then you have the master volume and you have the presence so uh, as they are sharing the same EQ so that's very common in that uh, size of the amplifier so the best way to uh, adjust this amp head for me the EQ I will start with the bass around 10 o'clock mid and the middle around 12 o'clock and the treble around 1 o'clock and uh, I found this is the best starting point and then you can make the adjustment based on your gear and the sound you're looking for and your guitar pickups, speaker, mics, anyway. And uh, to adjust the volumes, because here there is no volume for the clean gain, uh, for, sorry, for the clean channel. So uh, I generally keep the clean gain for around like 10 to 11 o'clock and the lead gain around two o'clock or three o'clock and then I switch off the volumes the lead volume and the master volume and then I move to the clean channel with again as I said around four to five start to raise the master volume step by step until I reach the sound level that I want for my clean tone and then I switch to the lead channel and start to raise the lead volume step by step until I balance both uh, channels with the volume that I'm looking for and then I start to adjust the presence controls a lot thing and uh, that's for the front panel one more option because it's not exist in the amp head it's only in the foot switch it's called master volume boost which is basically raising the volume of the whole amp head for both the channels uh, so that's basically in the front amp and you have the standby and power switch from the back of the amp and yes it's around 11 kilos so 
So actually the bike has a lot of nice feature in this amp head. So starting from left to right you have the power cable input and then you have the two input for the foot switches. The first input is for controlling the mid boost function and the effects loop on and off. And also this is one of the functional like when you have the control over your effects loop. And then you have the second foot switch for clean and lead channel which is a channel selection and the second button will be for master volume boost. So basically you need like four buttons to uh, one for mid boost function on and off, one for effects loop on and off, one for the channel selection and one for the master volume boost on and off. The amp head is shipped without any foot switch so you need to buy foot switch separately uh, if you're going to deal with angle foot switches so basically you need to buy two Z4 foot switch each one will cost around 75 to 80 euros so it's an extra 150 160 euro to the amp head price which is 850 euros so overall it will be 1000 euro but then I think you don't have to deal with angle uh, foot switch you can buy any foot switch with two buttons and stereo cable and plug it here it will work or here it will work and then you have the effects loop send and uh, effects loop send and return and then you have a built-in noise gate it's really powerful and functioning one uh, the amp itself is not that noisy so if it has no noise gate it will not be a problem but some people will find it it's a really nice feature I don't use it because I don't love to use noise gates in general but uh, yes the noise gate is only working with the leaded channel so if you adjust some threshold on the noise gate it will only be activated when you are in the ready channel if you are in the clean channel the noise gate is totally disabled and then you have the line output which is 0 db and this is like a preamp output so if you want to record from this output you need to pass through power amp simulation and cabin simulation and then you have the power amp uh, output uh, which can be taken 1 8 ohm, 116 ohm cabin or 216 ohm cabin and personally I consider this is the only weak point in the amp head it's not supporting the 4 ohm uh, cabin so if you have two speakers 8 ohm generally connect to the input and then take from the link of the speaker to the second speaker input so this means they are connected in parallel so 8 ohm and 8 ohm in parallel will be 4 ohm you can't do that with this amp head you need to connect the two cabin in series if you don't know how to do that don't worry in the manual which will be shipped with the amp head you can check the unboxing video it will be in the description or maybe appear here but i'm sure it will be in the description below and also can get the manual downloaded from the internet from angle amplifier uh, website i will put the link also below and uh, Yes, so in that case you need to connect the two cabins in series and that will be explained in the manual. So that's the only negative point I have. One of the amazing features that I love in this amp head and I would say most of the angle small amp heads they have a built-in power sock and power attenuator which is really an amazing cool feature. So you can run the amp in full power 25 or mid power which is 5 watt and low power 1 watt or totally speaker off so you don't need to connect the cabin and take the line output to record or to another power amp it's up to you uh, most of the other amps in the market outside the angle brand itself when they uh, suggest for you or like it's loaded with low power function generally it's not a power attenuator what they do for example disable one of the output tubes or change the output tubes working modes for example the power tubes generally they work in penta they switch it into trial so they get a low power but the only problem or the main problem for changing the power tubes mode or remove one tube and just work in one tube that will make a change to your tone then if you run it in a full power so um, in this amp head you can run it in a full power that power tubes and then attenuate the power so that's basically considered as a volume for your speaker cabin so that's for the amp head and for today uh, the record you guys uh, listened and uh, one I will play which is the same record exactly I just like switched off the uh, or I didn't add basically the drums and bass was recording through the Mesa Rec 2 1x12 cab and single Shure SM57 there is no EQ there is no any filters or anything just the mic directly to my native instrument 
uh, audio complete 6mk2 sound card which is totally not recommended product anyway hope you guys like the video the amp is really recommended product uh, at least uh, from me personally uh, it has as I mentioned the fireball has somehow a dark tone so um, it's not that bright and roaring that much but it's holding itself very well and it has a really nice tight low end which um, not can be found on most of the, amplif the small amplifier heads so yeah this amp is really worth a try at least and uh, yeah I'm so happy actually to have this amp at home right now so thanks for watching and enjoy the road track see you in another video ciao